O Lord God, to whom vengeance belongs, O God, to whom vengeance belongs, shine forth, rise up, O judge of the earth, render punishment to the proud. Lord, how long will the wicked, how long will the wicked triumph? Psalm 94, 1 to 3. In the multitude of my anxieties within me, your comforts delight my soul. Psalm 94, 19. Vengeance belongs to the Lord. In contrast to the Israelite in a day yet to come, the Christian is to beware of seeking revenge. Romans 12, 17. He does not suffer any less from the evil and injustice which reign in this world, where pride, Psalm 94, 2, Wickedness, verse 3, arrogance and boasting, verse 4, oppression and violence, verse 5 and 6, are given free reign. The believer cannot go through the world and remain unaffected by what he sees in it every day. The more aware he is of the holiness of God, the more awful the evil is to him. Psalm 97, 10. That is why Christ, the perfect man, suffered more from evil than anybody else. Look at him in Mark 3, 5. Grieved by the hardness of their hearts, he himself was made the object of the ultimate injustice. Verse 21. Being aware of the evil which surrounds us often arouses a great many distressing thoughts within us. Does God not see these things? Why does he not intervene? In reply, the Lord generally comforts us rather than answering. Verse 19. By opening our eyes to the evil in the world, he helps us to separate ourselves from it. But this is to bring us closer to himself so that our hope in him can be strengthened. May the comforts from above always be the delight of our souls. J. Hocklin Truth forever on the scaffold, wrong forever on the throne, yet that scaffold sways the future, and behind the dim unknown standeth God within the shadow, keeping watch above his own. J.R. Laurel